Hey YouTube, what is up er? Hey YouTube, what is up everybody? Here I to get some cleaning done a little bit. Today and I just got done eating lunch and everything. Everybody, you know, when they live on their own and everything, you know, it takes responsibility of taking care of the place. It takes responsibility of taking care of the place, you know, because without it, you know, with, with responsibilities and your own actions and your own choices you make in life, uh, you never learn on how to really grow. Give me one second. Okay. Yeah, the tendency to not really learn how to grow. The tendency to not really learn how to grow. Everything. And and that's the thing. I said in my last video, you know, you gotta make, you gotta make the decision on being your own person. Because if you let people control you, on what you do in life, you're really not your own person. That's what I'm saying. You're really not your own person. Because what I mean is that what I mean is that for six years of my life, for six years of my life, I always had somebody controlling me. And one day I decided I'm gonna wake up and I just had enough. And then when, when I moved down here and everything and all that, when I moved down, when I moved down here and everything and all that, and I made a promise to myself. You know, I had to, you know, make a lot, of, a lot of sacrifices and everything to get where I'm at. The reason why that is is that. A lot of people, you know, don't like to make sacrifices on the things they love to do. And, because they don't want to give up certain things, so they tend to see to end up. They tend to see the end up uh, not really caring on trying to make it a lot because they don't want to the tendency to learn on sacrifices. You know, you must be willing to give up on things to be strong, to be better, to be better at what you're doing, and everything else. You know, 
you know, every, everybody has their own way of living. I'm not trying to tell people on how to live. But on the stuff that you don't really, really need to do, do in life, if it don't really benefit you, if it don't really benefit you, then why keep why keep at it? Why you keep doing it? You know why? Um, Why keep at the thing that you're doing if it don't benefit you in anything that you do? So me, it's like I like reality. I like reality thinking. I like reality stuff. And if you live in a fantasy world all the time. You live in a fantasy world all the time. You're never gonna really understand yourself. You're always gonna be that little kid that's inside of you at all times. So, if you wanna talk about My thing, uh, you know, sacrifices, you know, I quit doing a lot of things, you know, I quit smoking, which is a good sacrifice, because it was making me not be able to breathe all that well, um, I, you know, and that was one of the things I did like doing, because it helped me with my stress flow. And it's been two years since I picked up a cigarette. And this month has actually been two years since I picked up a cigarette. So I can honestly pat myself on the back that I have not picked up a cigarette yet. <laughs> problem is, you know, I do drink it once in a while, but I just don't indulge it all the time, but I do drink. But am I drunk in my videos? No, I'm not. So, I don't do it all the time. I mean, you know, I have it in once in a while, but do I do it all the time? No. Everybody cuts loose in a once in a while. But the smoking, I have not gone back to. <laughs> besides, you gotta have, besides, you gotta have some enjoyment out of life. You know, you just can't, you know, be afraid of doing things all the time. Rinsing the dishes off. And that's the thing. You know, when... Uh, I mean, I don't even have a dishwasher. I never even had one when I was little. And everything I did when I was little, I had to do by hand. So you learn to build character with the things you do in life on the sacrifices you have made to be where you are. That is life now. So either you gotta live with the choices you make, live with the choices you make to be a better person, or you gotta have wants. 
He wants to be that better person than what you really are. So when you realize and look at yourself from your past decisions on your family values, on your fam family beliefs, and your family traditions, and everything on what you believe in, well, you gotta, you know, you gotta learn to fix that on your own. If you have any problems with your family, you know, you gotta learn to be able to fix that on your own. And I say that because you can get advice from everybody else around you on what to do, but don't get, you know, don't quote me on it. You can quote me on that if you want. But, my problem is, only way, only way you can, only way you can get advice on, is maybe get advice on really what to do in the situation. And that's the thing, today people, you know, everybody gets advice from somebody. Maybe be it off of a video, maybe be it off of a TV show, or maybe be it off of a movie they watch, or, you know, whatever. You know, but you gotta learn to come up with a situation to fix your own problems. Because nobody's going to do it for you. Nobody's going to do it for you. you got to learn to fix your own problems yourself. That's how we grow as a, as a human being. Because if you learn, if you learn to solve problems yourself instead of relying on others, you'll be much of a better person. Because you learn from your own mistakes. Hold that thought. So yeah, pretty much, you know, you got to learn to have your own tradition in life yourself on the situation that you are in, or wherever you know, you got to be better on your own, on your own journey. Because if you don't learn, how to grow and learn to make your own decisions in life, you ain't gonna never realize on what it's about in life. So, just learn to make your own choices instead of relying on others all the time. Learn to make your own choices instead of relying on other people all the time on what to do. Because, yeah, they can be there all, you know, they ain't going to be there all the time for you. So, we live and we die. So, that's how I look at it. We live and we die. So, basically, you know, people are, are always going to be there for you no matter what. So, just learn to accept the fact on, uh, 
in the future, if you happen to lose somebody, that was basically close to you, and they was always there for you, but you gotta learn to how to cope with that loss and learn how to deal with it in your own feelings. In your own way. Because you gotta learn to snap out of it. And that's the thing. Most people nowadays never either want to get high, get drunk, get, get wasted, and everything else. And I'm not all about that. I'm not all about that all the time. You know, I'm not. Did I make, did I make choices in the past? Yes, I did. I made some stupid choices. But I learned from my stupid choices on one of the choices the road I went down on. So it makes me a better person than what I really am. Plus, it makes me a strong person because I don't go back to that road that I was on six years ago. Three years ago. So, let's see. So, I've been sober free for nine years because it was actually six years the first year I moved down <coughs> and I had it and well it's going to be nine because if you want to include 2021 but no, 2022 but it's actually eight, 88 eight years since I've been sober free and it Feels pretty damn good. Do I want to go back to that lifestyle? No, I don't. So when you're trying to be a drug-free person, you know, it's the people you hang around with. If you hang around with the people that do drugs, you're going to end up wanting to do drugs yourself. That's all there is too. You're all wind up doing drugs yourself. If you, if if you don't start hanging around with the right people, if you hang around with the bad people, you always become the bad people. Those bad people will always bring you down. But if you turn around and find somebody that's positive in your life. And you look up to, and around them, because they're always going to be there for you, no matter what. So, so pretty much, just quit hanging around bad people, quit hanging around um, bad environments, and around positive environments. So. It's, Stay off the drugs. Why well, go there? Drugs are bad. So, it's up and down all forward. Hit the subscribe. Hit the like. Hit the bell notification. And if you want anything in life, you gotta have the mind, the heart, to continue on what you want to do in your journey. Peace.